Here I go. It's about 55 pounds. It operates on about a four hour battery. And you can change the battery. So think of Apollo like the personal computer in 1982. Uh, make sure that they're notified if you didn't wake up when you usually do. Number 10, World Robot Expo China. The 2023 World Robot Expo kicked off on August 16, 2023 in the Chinese capital Beijing with hundreds of robot tech pieces on display from around the world. The expo showed off humanoids in the form of ancient poets and modern bartenders as developers worked to make robots more capable of assisting humans in various aspects of everyday life. Winking, grimacing, or nodding their heads, robots mimic the expressions of visitors at a robot expo in Beijing. They were among the creations dazzling people attending the annual World Robot Conference where companies showed off robots designed for a wide range of uses including manufacturing, surgery, and companionship. The animatronic heads and humanoid robots on display at the EX Robots booth this year personified the image of what robots are supposed to be in the popular imagination with synthetic skin and lifelike facial expressions complemented by moving arms and hands. CEO Li Boyang said, They are ideal for roles that require interacting with the public such as museums, tourist attractions, school settings, and companion scenarios. Doggy droids, a mainstay of high-tech fairs, were out in force. Canine robots shook hands with fair goers and performed handstands on their front paws. Elsewhere at the fair, robotic arms served Chinese tea, prepared ice cream cones, bounced ping pong balls, and gave visitors back massages. Number 9. Toyota Q4 there's a new basketball star in Japan, a top team signing who moves, shoots, and scores with admirable accuracy. However, this player is not human. It's Q4, an artificial intelligence robot developed by Toyota technicians. Q4 is the fourth generation of automated athlete to take the basketball court. Previous generations of Q have publicly demonstrated their high-level skills with the third-generation Q being particularly notable for performing a record-breaking 2020 consecutive free throws. A key difference with the Q4 is that the robot is now able to run from one position to the next. To raise Q's gaming playing skills in this way, every element of the robot had to be revised, from its sensors to internal framework to its artificial intelligence algorithms. Its power cables were replaced with a small and powerful motor and human-like gripping hands were developed so Q could grasp a ball for itself without a human assistant needing to load the hand. It was also noted that the swaying of the machine after making a shot was affecting accuracy so the shooting movement was optimized to keep Q balanced. The Toyota team made a great start to 2020 and is now looking at what the next steps in the ongoing Q story might be. Number 8. Apollo Apollo is designed to transform the industrial workforce and beyond in service of improving the human experience. It will first be used in logistics and manufacturing, but Aptronic promises endless potential applications long term. Still, the company must make it happen. It's a big step from a prototype to a commercial product. It'll take some time to learn whether Apollo will be able to demonstrate that out-of-the-box versatility. But my guess is that the initial success of Apollo, as with basically every other robot, will depend primarily on what practical applications Aptronic itself will be able to set it up for. Pretty much all of the humanoid robots entering the market are meant for the handling of standard containers, known as cases and totes. And for good reason, the job is dull and physically taxing, and there aren't enough people willing to do it. There's plenty of room for robots like Apollo, provided the cost isn't too high. Number 7. LEQ LEQ is specially designed with and for older adults to give them everything they need to stay sharp, connected, and engaged. Interacting with LEQ and the world is easy and fun. 
and through AI, she becomes even more helpful by learning what you like and need. LEQ enables family members to easily check in with you and help with the day-to-day, -day, creating more quality time together wherever you live. LEQ suggests personalized activities at the right time, keeping you sharp, active, and engaged. As you start to get to know LEQ, she gets to know you and her suggestions grow better tailored to what you might want. Also, LEQ responds to you, to your voice, to your gaze, even to your touch, in ways that go beyond speech. Her body language intuitively helps you understand and communicate at a deeper level. Number 6. Karen AI AI startup Forever Voices AI has developed a virtual girlfriend called Karen AI, an AI clone of social media influencer Karen Marjorie. The Karen AI voice chatbot uses a GPT-4 API from OpenAI and was trained on thousands of hours of Marjorie's videos. The chatbot replicates the influencer's personality, mannerisms, and voice so followers can feel like they are in an immersive AI experience. However, the AI chatbot is designed to wind down conversations after an hour while encouraging users to continue the exchange later. Number 5. ASIMO ASIMO stands for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility. It means advanced innovative mobility for a new era. ASIMO is a bipedal humanoid robot Honda has been developing with a goal to develop robots that will coexist with and be useful to people since its first introduction in 2000. In 2011, the latest version was introduced with the world's first autonomous behavior control technology. The latest version, ASIMO becomes more autonomous, capable of continuous behavior without human operation. With a greatly enhanced situation adaptive capacity, both intelligently and physically, ASIMO moves one step closer to practical use in crowded public spaces and office environments. ASIMO became capable of responding to the movement of people and the surrounding situations. For instance, ASIMO will stop its current action and change its behavior to accommodate the intention of the other party. Have a look at ASIMO interacting with President Obama. Number 4. Erika Erika is an advanced humanoid robot developed by Dr. Hiroshi Ishiguro and his team at the Intelligent Robotics Laboratory at Osaka University in Japan. She was designed to have a highly realistic appearance and human-like facial expressions, making her one of the most sophisticated and lifelike humanoid robots in existence. Erika is equipped with state-of-the-art artificial intelligence and natural language processing capabilities, allowing her to engage in meaningful conversations with humans. Her ability to understand context and respond in a coherent manner makes interactions with her feel remarkably human-like. She has been featured in interviews and demonstrations, showcasing her abilities to communicate and respond in a human-like manner. Is Erika creepy? To Van she is, but not to Professor Ishiguro, who considers her nearly indistinguishable from a human. Also, watch Erika interview at the ATR Hiroshi Ishiguro Laboratories in Nara, Japan. Number 3. Yandere Girlfriend AI Looking for an AI girlfriend? Then Yandere AI Girlfriend Simulator is made for you. With the AI Girlfriend Simulator, you'll never feel lonely again. She will be by your side whenever you need her, providing emotional support. With you till the end, you wake up in the house of Yandere who won't let you leave her house. You need to find a way to escape, which generally revolves around chatting to her and either tricking or persuading her to let you go. The fact that Yandere AI Girlfriend Simulator is powered by ChatGPT means that you can actually have real conversations with your captor. It also means that no two playthroughs play out the same way and there are lots of different ways to escape. However, there are also lots of different ways to anger her too, which can see you on the wrong end of a large pointy knife. It does have some rough edges and setting up the Azure integration for voice support is a bit tricky. But it's a remarkable game that makes for a great showcase of ChatGPT's possibilities in gaming. 
Being able to have actual conversations is a real game changer and really makes you connect more with the character, at least when she's not trying to kill you anyway. Number 2. Masahiko Inami's Robotic Arm System Masahiko Inami is a renowned researcher in the field of robotics and human-computer interaction. He is a professor at the Graduate School of Media Design and a co-director at the Keio University Graduate School of Media Design in Japan. One of his notable works in the field of robotics is the development of a robotic arm called Metal Limbs. The Metal Limbs project is an innovative concept that aims to extend human capabilities by providing users with an additional pair of robotic arms that can be controlled using their legs. This set of robotic limbs allows users to perform various tasks that would otherwise require a third hand, such as carrying objects while using their hands for other activities. The Meta Limbs robotic arm system is designed to be intuitive and natural to use. By leveraging the human body's existing neural connections, the user can learn to control the robotic arm with their leg movements effectively. The technology has the potential to enhance human productivity and improve the way we interact with our environment. Number 1. Robear The Japanese government has invested in various robot developments for elder care facilities, including robots leading patients in Tai Chi and aiding in physical therapy and rehabilitation. One such robot is the Japanese Robear, a shiny white creation with impressive capabilities. This animalistic robot employs advanced technology to enable intelligent vision, flexible movement, and strong giant arms capable of lifting a human off the ground. Beyond its potential implications for the human-machine relationship, Robear is also incredibly cute. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.